So I have this charged up to 100%, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my laptop, that's at 68%, and I have a Type-C cable here that I'm gonna plug in to the USB. Trust Ted here, Tesla owner, Silicon Valley. Today I got another review for you. This is the Enphase IQ Power Pack 1500. This is a big battery that can back up various devices and an optional solar panel that can actually charge this. So as always, I'll be going through the product, the installation, the functionality, the price value, and give it our final rating at the end. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe. Let's get on with the review. All right, let's do an unboxing for the Enphase IQ Power Pack. You might need a friend to help you with this. And it's right here, pull to open. There you go. Ah, look at that. So the instructions are here. That's always a good thing. Nicely packaged with this foam there. Oh, it's a really pretty unit. Oh, it's heavy, but it's really quite a nice unit. Okay, while we're at it, we might as well open up the solar panel. I have actually reviewed other um, power packs, if you will, and that they did not have that option. So, especially if you go like, whatever, camping, or you're just at an RV park or something, and you want more power. So, take a look. Okay, uh, so there's a handle on this side. This is the cable and such, probably for charging. And this is the panel, nicely, again, nicely packaged here. And, What's really nice about it is it even has a handle. So I really, I really like that. And there's a little instruction guide here. So um, this, this is really terrific. So I'm just reading the quick start guide and it's the first thing it says to do is charge it to 100% um, with AC power. So I'm not gonna put the solar panels. I'm gonna do that first and then I will connect it to the app um, which I actually have installed because I have Enphase solar panels. I also have an Enphase EV charger. Then we can plug it in and try it. Now, the unit says to connect it with the Enphase app, which I have installed here. So we're gonna fire it up. I'm gonna walk through this real time and try to figure out here what is needed. So add a device, that's my guess. Uh, dismiss that. Power pack. Okay, add power pack, scan the QR code, set up, name your device, let's get started. Okay, so yeah, there is a QR code at the beginning of the, or on the screen, which is right over there, so you can see that. So I'm going to scan that first. So let's do that, go right here. And okay, it found it. Like enter show, oh, okay, you have to enter the code, so. Let's do that. There's a code on the screen there. And so I will enter that code. Device added. Let's connect the Wi-Fi, connect. Okay, so I just put in my Wi-Fi info and now it's connecting to the internet. Successfully added, awesome. So I could just rename the device and then we're moving on. All right, I just wanted to show when you go to the main screen and you can actually see now that the grid is charging the power pack. So that's really cool. I just wanna show the unit has a really nice display. Uh, I'm trying to get the shadow or myself off, but you know, you can see that it's charging and it tells you the percentage, it's at 64%, you can see there. Um, and it's, it's basically saying to, uh, you know, just keep charging until it's done. So it gives you some really good information about what's, um, you know, what the charge is. And then it, when I connect up to the solar panel, it'll change where it'll, it'll charge from a different source, not the grid. So you can see it's now charged up to 100%. What um, I maybe failed to mention is 
this um, is a touch screen. So I actually, I saw that there was a uh, firmware update and I did have it update to the latest firmware. Before I get started, it's just a quick walkthrough on some of the various ports. So you can see there's um, like a nice rubber uh, adapter there. So there's two AC ports on that side and there's two more there. So that's awesome. And then there's USB here. So if I flip that up and then 12 volts there. So you can do use a cigarette. So this is great. It's got all these different ports. Uh, some versions, you know, will only have AC and maybe the older USB. This has USB A and C, 60 watts, tremendous. And then the, um, uh, the cigarette lighter adapter. So kind of everything. Awesome. I figured how crazy would it be to charge my Tesla with the, uh, you know, the portable adapter and it's basically saying it's going to charge for, or it's, it's only got two hours left and I'll see what the charge rate is on the car. Now, the interesting thing is this unit is able to put out the full 12 amps at 120 volts. And you can see that from the Tesla screen. And so this is saying it will basically charge for, uh, you know, basically an hour. And so that's great because it's basically the capacity, right? 120 volts times 12 amps. Uh, when you do the math, that's pretty much 1.5 kilowatt. I thought I would just show you a quick setup. Here's the solar panel. And um, what's nice is it just folds out like they, the three fold together. And then you can see there's these kickstands. There's these three kickstands that you see there. They do include some, um, I don't know what the hell you call these things. That, you know, you stake them into the ground, stakes. Uh, and those are for the little panels here that you see you put that into the ground. And then you, this is the cable that comes out of the panel and then you connect it to this other included cable. So these connect here and then this end, which is over here, this is what will go into the power pack. Okay, so I plugged in the solar panel and then you can see um, I put a pretty good angle to the sun. It's three in the afternoon, so not 100% optimal, but, but it's a pretty good time. So 150 watts, it's charging. The battery was at 73%, uh, 74%. And so, you know, that's actually pretty decent. It says it's gonna charge it in about three hours to do 25%. So, um, you know, like times four would be the total amount if this thing was dead empty. So it's nice to have this as an option. So I have this charged up to 100%, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my laptop, that's at 68%, and I have a Type-C cable here that I'm gonna plug in to the USB. And then I also have this Sawzall that I'm gonna plug in, and what you notice, actually, what's interesting is you see this AC power, and then so, like by default, it's off, so do you wanna exit power save mode? Yes. So what this will do is turns on the power. So I'm just gonna film for a minute or so, uh, running the Sawzall and charging the laptop, so you can take a look at that. Okay. One of the other things I really like about the Enphase Power Pack 1500 is how compact it is. This is an example of an Ego uh, Power Pack, and you could, it only has like two of the batteries in it. Um, it actually, depending upon the batteries you put in, would be less capacity, but um, I just put them side by side so you can get an idea. The um, Enphase is really much more compact. I mean, of course you could argue that the, uh, the Ego is modular, and if you have their system with batteries, you might want to use it. But the other thing I'll say is that the uh, Ego only has USB-A and AC. It doesn't have the cigarette lighter or Type-C. All right, let's wrap up the review for the Enphase Power Pack 1500. For a product, I'm going to give this a five. This thing is just super well built. I'm really impressed. Uh, it's lithium iron phosphate, so that's the safest battery chemistry. Um, just like they thought of so many things. In terms of installation, it was super easy, whether you just plug it in to charge from AC power or from the solar panel. I'm gonna give that a five as well. 
For functionality, I'm also gonna give that a five. This thing is a beast. It, you know, charged my vehicle. It got added like six miles or so of range. It, you know, was able to deplete the battery. It wasn't, it was like barely warm to the touch. Um, and for price, now it's about $1,500 uh, just for the power pack. It's another 500 if you want a solar panel and you can actually get two solar panels to charge it, recharge it even quicker. Um, you know, that is a lot, but it's only a little bit more than a lot of comparable products. And I think just given the screen, the quality, all the ports, the ways that you can recharge it, it, th this is a great value and so I'm gonna give that a four and that's a final score of 19 again trust head Tesla owner Silicon Valley if you're not a subscriber to the channel please subscribe and look for another review soon